There is no doubt about it. Healthcare workers in our communities are heroes and warriors right now. And tonight we're hearing from so many more of them. We're hearing from hundreds of nurses across the state of Georgia who say they still don't have the protective equipment that they need to handle the rising number of cases of COVID-19. Overwhelmingly, almost all the nurses talked about a shortage of protective gear, especially masks, forcing them to wear the same mask for hours, even days sometimes. Some of them worried about what will happen when their coworkers start to get more exhausted and more staff get sick. Some saying they have a plan for a small surge of cases, but they don't know what will happen if the numbers start to rise dramatically as predicted. A nurse we talked to says it's all taking a toll. Our nurses are exhausted. They are scared. They all have families and loved ones that they know that they are going home to after they've been exposed to the virus. And they are very overwhelmed and stretched already as far as the workload. More than 95% of the nurses in this survey say they have not even been tested for the virus. Even though medical workers are supposed to get priority testing, many nurses say they have asked. One wrote, even with some symptoms, I have not been tested. Important perspective from more than 200 nurses who responded to a survey from the Georgia Nurses Association, even though 85% of them said that their facility has a plan to handle COVID-19, 68% say they don't feel safe or prepared under the plan. They wrote out those concerns that we shared and detailed what's happening in their hospitals, hoping that things can change as the cases will go up.